Holy Land has done it again. I'm serious. They did it again. They came out with the Holy Land Mars 300. Yep, that's not new. Except now it's the 300 Pro. There are actually three different versions of the Mars 300 Pro. There's the standard version, which is the one that I'm holding here. It's got built-in antennas. Then there's the enhanced version. And the enhanced version has actually removable antennas. The advantage to that is that you can use that set in a much more complex environment. So something that has a lot of different frequencies, you will want to use the enhanced version. And then of course, they have the solo version. And the solo version allows you to go directly from your camera to the transmitter. The transmitter then can hook up to your mobile device using Wi-Fi. So there's something for everyone with the release of the Hollyland Mars 300 Pro wireless video transmission system. So I've been using this system for a couple of weeks and you might think, are these pre-production? And the answer is no. You can actually buy them today at B&H. So I'll be sure, in case you're interested, I'll be sure to put the links in the description so that you guys can check out the different prices as well as the different models at the B&H website. So what is new with this Mars 300 Pro and what makes it a Pro system? So let's start with the actual build quality. Both the receiver and the transmitter the entire housing is made out of metal. The only part that is not metal is where the antennas are actually hiding. So this is some sort of hardened plastic, but they feel incredibly robust. It is really, really well done. What else makes this pro? Well, you can have up to five, not two, not three, not four. You can have five, five of these pairs on set at the same time. That is a huge plus. So for me, one of the big selling points and reasons why I would consider this a pro type system, and keep in mind, it's got latency. So it isn't zero latency pro system that you can use to pull focus, but it is pro enough to bring on set so that I could give to a client, to give to costume or a director anyone who is not going to need to also make changes on the camera itself can actually benefit from monitoring from a system like the Mars 300 Pro. For me personally, I like to go from the camera to the transmitter. And then also, I tend to use a reference monitor regardless of the camera that I'm using. Or if I'm out in sunlight, I like to use an EVF. Now, Thanks to the loop out function of the HDMI, I can actually do both. I can send off a wireless signal and still have my own monitoring solution as I'm operating the camera. That is a huge plus. Another thing that they changed with the system is that now we actually have fan control. So we can choose whether we want the fan to run on auto, which generally is kind of high, or we can go with the default setting, which is low. And the sound that this now makes is whisper quiet. So that's another big, big plus if you have to have your camera really close to talent. And another big upgrade from the original Mars 300 is that now these allow you to use the Hollyview app. Let's take a look. So the app gives you a lot of functionality. You can turn on the waveforms. Can move it across the image if it's in my way. That, of course, is a huge plus. I can turn waveforms off. I can turn on the histogram if I'd rather use that as a scope. And again, I can move it out of my frame so that it's not in the way of my actual shot. Turn that off. I can select focus peaking. And as you can see here, it shows me what's actually in focus or not. 
the focus speaking for me is not as accurate as I'd like it to be because as you can see here the lens is all sharpening up and that in fact is not in focus the only thing that is absolutely in focus are my Hollyland antennas on the Mars X so you know keep that in mind as you're using some of these tools we turn on zebras so we can see what potentially is about or can expose overexpose and as you can see here I can set my threshold levels to whatever I want so a good thing to do is to set the zebras to whatever your skin tone IREs are so that you can know when you're at the correct exposure if you're choosing to use zebras of course you can use it to determine if you're going to blow out highlights too or not but that's the way that I use zebras you can also change your frame if you press and hold it you can see here that it allows you to set up a number of different frame options you can also decide what color you want the frame to be I like personally I like my white and then you can set the transparency to whatever it is that you'd like. I like usually to keep it at about 25%. Turn off frames, turn it on, and there we go. You can also do magnify, which is really slick because it allows you to magnify over any piece. And as you can see here, this is what's tack sharp, whereas my lens is not. The magnify feature comes in clutch if you want that extra boost of confidence that your critical focus is set correctly. That's a big, big plus for this app. I really like that. Then we have false color. And if you press and hold, you can actually see what the readout or what the values are for each of the different colors. That's something that we don't get in a lot of different monitoring tools, and I'm glad that they included it in this app. Then you got monocolor, which I don't use red, but I do use blue because this allows me to see if there are any areas in the shot that have noise. So that's the big plus there. And of course, you have the ability to load your own LUX. For me, another massive improvement with the Mars 300 Pro are the power options. I can now actually use a Sony style battery, just like the original Mars 300, or I can actually now power using USB-C. That means I can keep a very small, very small footprint. In fact, so just for comparison's sake, here's the size difference when compared to my iPhone. Obviously, the iPhone is a lot thinner, but if I don't have to add a battery and I can actually power this with USB-C, I am shrinking my footprint. And also, I am reducing the number of chargers that I need to bring with me while on set. That's a big plus. Just like the rest of the Hollyland products, you turn these on and they pair automatically. The menu system is incredibly easy to navigate. You get a little toggle wheel that you can go up or down and also then push on it. And when you push on it, it behaves as an enter button. So it makes it very easy to go through the menu system. Let's talk about range. Here's a little BTS, but basically this is the Mars 300 Pro hooked up to a Canon EOS R. And we can see here what the picture is, right? There's the camera. This is what we're gonna try and grab. And now here I have a Ninja V with the actual receiver. And let's walk around the office and see if we can go around the office without actually dropping the signal. Still fairly close. Let's keep walking. No problem here. Maybe if we go all the way to the back, put some more walls between us. Okay, more walls, still not dropping the image. 
There we go. Let's open up this door. Okay, so I reached the other side of this building. If I go in here, it's going to be the garage. As you guys can see now, I have several walls between me and I'm still in good shape in terms of the signal. So basically, what this means is that I can use, I can use this Mars 300 Pro. I can use this Mars 300 Pro basically anywhere in this building independent of how many walls let's see if it's true i'm gonna push it go into the lunch area yeah so still yet another wall let's go into the conference room well so far so good right like nothing to complain about And if I go out here, still a very consistent signal. Hmm. No problems. Try going outside again. All right, so I'm outside. And yep, still have a signal. We still have a an image. So basically along this entire property, I don't have any issues with interference, drop signals, and we just dropped. So we just dropped, and there's a studio building. I have to be at least 400 feet away. See how quickly it connects as I begin to walk back here. And of course we got obstacles, right? This is not line of sight. We've got several vehicles in the way. Dumpster. There we go, we got the picture back. So I think the performance on this unit is exceptional for what it is. So let's try that same test, except this time we're going to use the mobile app. So this is my iPhone. <laughs> so this is my iPhone. And we're gonna see if we can actually do the, or replicate the same type of connection consistency that we got from the receiver. So same setup. Now let's walk about, see kind of where we end up. Very impressive. No issues. We'll start going through doors here. As you can see, this is fine. We'll go into the lunchroom. So now we have one, two, three. We have three walls in between us in this building. Not bad. To the conference room. Walk again, very stable. As 
Just try and go all the way to the end of the building here. So I am at the end of the building. There's nothing left here. There's the hallway. And I just dropped. So the Wi-Fi app, likely because of the number of walls in between us, let's see if it reconnects, because it was fine here. Okay, we got a picture. So, let's try that one more time. This might be the limit, which is fine because it's right at about 300 feet. Okay, there's the hallway that we just walked down and disconnected. So yeah, right at about 300 feet, if I have to go through multiple walls, So what about latency? So here's an example of what latency looks like when using the Mars 300 Pro. And I'm going directly from my Canon EOS R into the transmitter. And then of course, this is the receiver going straight into the, my small HD monitor. So you guys can get a sense sort of what to expect in terms of latency. And also, you can very clearly see why it is that I'm basically saying this is a good system for anyone who is not needing to pull focus. Anyone else on set, it doesn't matter if it's a client, if it's a director, if it's a producer, or anyone else, as long as they don't need to pull focus, this system, in my opinion, is a very good value. So now that I've gushed about the Mars 300 Pro, what are some of the things that I wish were a little bit different? I'm gonna tell you, for me, the app itself is very, very powerful. I wish some of the features in the app, like focus peaking as an example, would actually be a little bit more accurate. So from a confidence standpoint, if that is how I'm going to do my monitoring, and those are the tools, then I would expect that if you're going to put pro in the name, then the tools themselves are, you know, that accurate or much more accurate than what it is that I've noticed they are. With that said, other than focus peaking, I really haven't seen big discrepancies between the app tools and what it is that I can get out of my small HD. But as I said, if the tool is going to work kind of okay, then maybe just don't put it in. That way no one ends up making a mistake on set because they relied on a tool that maybe required a little bit more calibration. One other item that I wish I had a little bit more control over is the actual fan speed. I don't know if it's possible because of, you know, electronics generating heat, especially when they're transmitting video, but if I could turn it off, even if it was just for a brief moment, like maybe, you know, a minute, three minutes, five minutes, max, something like that, just enough to maybe get a critical take that I couldn't do if I had that little bit of fan noise, that would come in helpful. I want to be clear about something. I'm being incredibly nitpicky here because I'm having a really difficult time finding issues with the Mars 300 Pro. I'm standing literally right next to the monitor and the receiver. I can't hear it. So this fan noise that I'm talking about, I have to look for it so that my brain can register it. That's how low it is. And on that note, here's my last, I wish it was different. I wish Hollyland didn't do what everybody else has done this year and put the word pro in the name. I think Mark II would have been better I think when you use the word pro, it gets cloudy, right? Pro to me genuinely means zero latency. Prosumer? Absolutely. 
maybe use prosumer in the name instead of just pro. Again, being incredibly critical here because this system fits a lot of people at a lot of different levels. I'd like to disclose that Hollyland did in fact send off this unit for review. They did not compensate me financially for this video whatsoever. And in addition to that, they also have not seen what it is that I'm going to say about their product prior to this video going live on YouTube. I just wanted to be crystal clear about this. Yes, they send it over. Yes, I get to keep it. No financial compensation was exchanged. And no, they did not have an opportunity to watch this video before any of you. Hopefully you guys found some of this information useful. And until next time, I'm Carlos with Media IQ, hoping you guys stay safe and enjoy the rest of your week. Take care. So let's get real for just a quick moment. Would I recommend the Hollyland Mars 300 Pro? Yes. If you're a content creator, it works. If you're a YouTuber, it works. If you need to be able to monitor a high angle like on a jib or a top down type shot, absolutely, it works. The range is good enough for the majority of the productions and definitely just about every YouTube video that I've ever put out. So I think this system is gonna make a lot of people really happy. And the flexibility of being able to monitor on my iPhone, that's a huge plus because I can bring either an iPhone or a tablet and hand that off to a client and get to work so that they're not crowding me.